At this stage in the process, I'd also like to add another page for us to add something to our shopping list. So let's open up our terminal once again and generate another page. But this time, we want to call the page the Add Shopping Page. So simply type Ionic Generate Page Add Shopping. You should see that I generated a page named Add Shopping. And we can head over and add the Add Shopping page to our declarations and entry components inside of our root app module. So to get started, let's import from Pages add shopping slash add shopping. From here, we want the add shopping page. Let's add that to declarations and entry components. Awesome. We can now add a button from our shopping list page to navigate us to the add shopping page. We can first start by navigating to the shopping list.html. This is the view for our shopping list page. And we can change our title to simply add a space here inside of our shopping list. And we can also add a color to our nav bar. That color is up to you, but I'll be adding primary. This comes from our variables.scss under the primary key here. If you want to change the color, you're more than welcome. And you can also add a different color. Inside of our navbar, if we add an ion buttons element, we can also pass the end attribute to our ion buttons. And what that will do is plant the button at the end of the navbar. So in this circumstance, I want to add a button. And that button can have the ion button attribute, as always, as well as the icon only attribute. And what this does is makes the button literally just an icon. So to specify what icon we want inside of the button element itself, we can add an ion icon. That ion icon can have the name of add, and this will simply make the icon be a plus. So if we save our file, and before going back to view this inside of the browser, we'll have to remove the ion page decorator from our ad shopping page. So let's remove that. And like I mentioned in the previous video, that may not exist for you. And if it doesn't, that's fine. And if we now take a look inside of our app, we should see that we have our plus button at the end of our nav bar. So let's add some functionality to this button that allows us to navigate to the ad shopping page. 